It is Wednesday, about 1.30 in the afternoon, and this is the start of the Wandering Weights YouTube channel. Pretty exciting. I have no YouTube or video editing experience whatsoever, so I'm trying to get some practice with this one. I've not yet hit the road, and for those who don't know, I have a pretty big upcoming trip. I plan to basically go around the entire United States, um, like the perimeter, essentially. So I'm from upstate New York. I'll head down south to Florida, shoot over west to California, up the coast, and then make my way back uh, throughout the Midwest. So pretty excited uh, to get going with that, but first want to <laughs> figure this out a little bit more. So today's experiment, I'm going to be going on just a little hike. Um, it's Conklin Gully. I've done it a few times. It's honestly one of my favorite short little hikes in the Rochester area. It's, well, more so like Finger Lakes area, if you're familiar, but going to do that. And then I have uh, some pretty exciting uh, new pieces of equipment uh, to try out. And for uh, some context, I like to bring resistance bands and a set of dumbbells on me along with, uh, or on these hikes, I should say, and, you know, kind of mix my, my weightlifting passion along with my outdoor and, and hiking passion. So it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. And the equipment that I've gotten myself into is everything that I would need or everything that I would use in a gym setting. And I can take it anywhere in my car, which is freaking sweet. And the funny part is I drive a Honda Civic and I have over 250 pounds of weight with me. I have like a barbell, squat rack, bench, dumbbells, like you name it, I have it and I managed to, to fit it in here. It'll be fun to record that and show you guys what I'm able to do with some of the equipment here. But I'll check in again, uh, probably when I get gas and see you guys there. So we are gassed up, I'm gassed up, ready to roll. So I've had a, a couple of thoughts on the drive here. So I have all of this weight in my little car. It does not make me feel that good driving around with it. Like I've taken this car on some pretty rough road before and it just pains me to do that because the, <laughs> this car is not very high off the ground. And I think with all the weight, it's even lower right now. So if I do go on any sort of terrain like that, I, I might be in rough shape. The suspension might, might get pretty shot in here. So that's something I'll have to keep an eye out on, but hopefully we can manage not doing any off-roading today, just the parking lots at this trail is a little, a little beat up, but we, we will be okay. I'm gassed up. I got some extra caffeine. I, I just need, needed like a, a little sipper. Uh, we'll, we'll pick me up a Red Bull. It's only like a hundred milligrams of caffeine. It's like just enough in the afternoon, but it's not too much that it's going to throw off your, your pre-workout caffeine later on. So I am, I am pretty stoked right now to, to get out there. So I'll, uh, I'll check back in when we're on the trail. We made it. It looks pretty soaked, so we will probably be going around the outskirts of the water, which that's, that's fine. It's, it's still a pretty fun hike. Um, we'll definitely get our sweat in, uh, get our heart rate up before we go lift some weights. But let's, uh, let's go. I am just going to take a quick check down by the river. Like maybe we can go up it. 
I don't think so, though. It would be, it would be tough. I'd hate to have drenched shoes at the, uh, at the end of today. Here, you tell me. What, do you think we can go up this? I don't know. We're calling it. We're, we're just going to go around. I think, uh, I think that'll be fine for today. So we came from over there, and this is a pretty steep drop. You would certainly sustain some severe injuries if you were to take a tumble. Probably won't get too close here, but this is, uh, this is a neat little spot. Again, I love it because nobody's ever here, and it's probably one of the more challenging and fun hikes in this area. Always a good time to come out here. Plus, looks like we burned about 300 calories, so that's cool. So our hike down will be pretty quick. We'll, we'll wrap that up and then we'll head over to our workout spot. I don't know what to expect, if people will be a little cautious of me or if they'll just, I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. Just got back in the car. We are going to head to a viewpoint of Canandaigua Lake. That's where we're gonna do our push day. It's about four o'clock right now, so might see some people there, we'll see, but we'll get there, we'll set up, and then we'll have our pre-workout snack. I'll, uh, I'll see you over there. So we got our rig set up here. I think I only scared away a couple of people. It would probably be a, a weird thing to see some dude pull up with, I don't know, all this equipment just in a random spot. It's a pretty spot though, overlooking the lake. I don't know if you guys can see that from this angle, but the, the plan today it's a push day. I'll do flat bench, a few sets of incline barbell, maybe superset some lateral raises with those. Then we'll move to incline flies, supersetted with uh, incline dumbbell, super light. Um, I'll burn out with that pretty good. And then we'll move on to our band work for triceps and side delts. We'll probably call it a day after that. This is, uh, this is cool. So again, first time First time out doing this here. I've got the whole place to myself now, so I'm thankful for that. But I'll finish this C4 and we'll get to work. You know, I can't say I've ever been much of a Crocs guy, but I freaking love them. I don't think I would ever be caught wearing pajama pants with them or even just going to a regular gym. But man, for this purpose, Pretty freaking sweet. Well, that was fun. We learned a lot. What exactly did we learn? So I am not a vlogger or a YouTuber or a videographer. I'm not good at this stuff. And I think this was quite the realization that this is a lot of work. I had no idea that it is basically taking up a full day to try and like film everything, get a decent workout, go for a fun hike. Like that took me like seven hours 
Like, if I didn't try and record and film everything, it would have been, I don't know, maybe three or four hours, like, total. So, this is, uh, this is a learning experience. And I think I also learned, like, I don't have to try to be, like, an expert at this stuff. I think I was trying to be, like, too, I don't know, like, like, talking at the wrong, wrong spots, like... I feel like I should only really speak in the car when it's easy for me, not trying to do a ton of different things with a camera and like get all the good shots and then like have like a monologue with that. And this is just a good experience for me. I did get some pretty cool footage of just testing out the workout gear. It was so much fun. And I'm sure like the the clips aren't very good at all. But it was cool to get all the stuff out and, like, have a good workout and (laughs) having some people give you some funny looks or give me some funny looks. We'll get home. Um, I'm starving. Got to recover after that. Burned a good bit of calories. We'll try and edit all of this, all of this footage that we got. I guess I'll be posting this. Again, like, don't laugh too hard when this comes out. Bear with me on that, but... Again, a lot to come, a lot to look forward to. So I'll see you all around, hopefully for the next one, if I keep doing this. So, peace.